Xander had found a way in. He pried the plywood sheet further away from the window and crawled inside. His jacket snagged on a loose nail and tore a hole in the shoulder. Xander stuck a finger through the hole in the fabric and shook his head. Mom is totally going to kill me. He fished his phone out of his back pocket and switched on the flashlight mode. He swept the beam across the walls of the dusty room. The place reeked. Xander headed to the door and pulled it open. The hinges groaned as the door swung inward. He poked his head into the hallway and flashed the light both ways. At one end was a large counter at the nurse's station. Beside the blacktop desk, a gurney sat on its side, rusted caster wheels dangling from the legs. At the other end of the hallway, double doors led deeper into the heart of the haunted hospital. The scene reminded Xander of an old video game his dad used to play, Silent Hill. He remembered once sneaking a peek as his dad killed zombie nurses and having nightmares for about a month. What was that? Oh, get a grip. It's nothing. Talking aloud to himself helped Xander calm his nerves. He took a breath and entered the hallway. The nurse's station would make a perfect home base for the game, he noted, and took a photo. He flipped the gurney back onto its wheels and pushed it against the counter. The metal frame squeaked and groaned, but it could still roll. Suddenly, a dark shape shot out from behind the station and scooted down the hallway. Xander aimed the light at his entire body, throbbing with instant adrenaline. What was that? If you believe in ghosts, you're going to love this book. If you don't believe in ghosts, well, you just might believe by the end of the book. <laughs> oh, I know what you're wondering. Do I believe in ghosts? Well, I believe in the power of ghost stories, but as for real ghosts, yes, yes I do.